Hello everyone, welcome to part 175 of advanced ecom series in Laravel 8. So we are going to continue working on the CMS pages and in this video we are going to display the CMS pages in admin panel that we have created uh, with migration and seeding in last video. You can see that we able to add few of the uh, CMS pages with the help of seeding dummy CMS pages. Okay, so now we, uh, we are going to display this CMS pages in admin panel with active inactive status so that we can able to update its status as well and also we are going to display these in left side because we are going to add one cms pages tab as well so let's start first of all we are going to create the cms controller okay so we are going to run uh, one command here uh, we can close and i'm going to open this one once again and i am also going to close all the files uh, that uh, okay so now i'm going to run one command here uh, okay so here i'm going to uh, create the controller php artisan make controller I'm going to create uh, the con uh, cms controller i want to create inside admin folder okay because we are going to work inside admin so we are going to create the controller inside admin okay admin slash cms controller okay so we can check once whether the uh, controller has been created inside the admin folder and you can check it see this is fine okay so now we can able to open this one cms controller okay fine so model we are already having the cms page model we can check in last video we have created the model as well now we are going to create the route the route we are going to create under admin group okay so like we have created the users route uh, some time back now we are going to create the cms pages route okay so simple get route we are going to add for the cms pages here we can uh, give it like cms icon pages and it's under cms uh, uh, cms uh, controller okay we can write like this cms controller okay so now uh, okay so under cms controller we are going to create here cms pages like this and we are going to create this function inside cms controller here public function cms pages and here uh, we are going to get all these cms pages here cms underscore pages and we can get from this cms model cms page model okay so get we can get like this and here we can attach the model as well okay use app cms page model see our model is under app folder itself okay so if it is under models folder then you need to add app slash models slash cms page okay so now first of all we are going to debug this one uh, that whether the data is coming correctly or not okay so we can also convert this one to two array okay uh, like this and we can uh, debug it uh, like dd okay, this is the quick mode of debugging we can debug like this die and we can check once uh, we are going to open here uh, cms pages to check whether the cms pages are coming correctly here you can see both cms pages are coming from our table so that's fine so we can remove this one and get and we can uh, simply return the cms pages uh, okay uh, inside admin dot pages dot and see this pages folder we are going to create under admin folder under resources views and inside that we are going to create that cms underscore pages blade file okay and we are going to pass the cms pages json data compact compact cms underscore pages this one we are going to pass okay i'm going to return this one cms underscore pages and now uh, first of all we are going to create the folder and the file resources views admin and inside that we are going to create pages folder here and inside that pages we are going to create one file uh, we are going to create like touch is the command in mac to create the file but you know how to create the file in windows 
and here we are going to create like uh, uh, cms underscore pages dot blade dot php file okay so now we can open this blade file here cms underscore pages dot blade dot php file and here uh, we can copy the design we can copy the content from some other blade file so that uh, we can make our task easy so we can copy like from brands okay we can copy this one and we can paste here okay after that we can make changes here you can click on this one to match the characters and here you can simply do like this cms pages and everywhere you can uh, make the changes okay so Okay, so uh, you can make these changes. Uh, here we can give the page. Okay, so check once if any brand still exists. No, okay, so fine. We can check once. See here we are going to add the title. Okay, here we can give the title save and check once that what is coming exactly and you can see cms pages here coming correctly okay you can see the title here but we can also show the url here as well okay so rest of the things uh, yeah, in edit uh, those if the admin want to check complete details he can click on edit in that edit everything will come title description meta title meta de description keyword extra okay so but here we can show the uh, url as well and also created date two things we can show here url that page url and here created on at which date the file has been the page has been created okay so the same thing we are going to add here url as well as created at okay so now we can check once again okay fine secreted on the date is not there uh, but we can add once once we will add from the admin panel or edit from the admin panel date will surely come okay so don't worry about that okay so we can manually add the date for now to see the date is coming there okay so now we can check see date is also coming okay so now we can work on uh, this active inactive status okay uh, so that thing also we can do right now and we will add the uh, add in sidebar as well okay so first active inactive status and for inactive active status uh, we uh, need to make sure that uh, we have the class we have the id okay page id as well so these things make sure that we have already added these things but before that one thing we have for, for forgotten we need to convert this one to data table and for converting this one to data table we will add uh, admin layout file we are going to open and here uh, we are going to add for the data table cms pages okay cms pages so that the table will convert into data table okay that will have lot good options like paging uh and other uh, option search extra okay so uh, now we, we need to make sure that cms pages id we have given through table and here also cms pages data table okay so that's fine we have given data table to the id to uh, to implement the data table to this table okay so let's see 
see now it's the data table now if anything you are going to search see it is coming okay only that specific result will come okay so it's really good with paging you can see everything is here okay so once you will add uh, like uh, uh, more pages like 15 20 pages or 30 40 pages then it's really easy to search that page okay and it's uh, fine with the paging is also there you can able to uh, select that which one you want alphabetic wise or url you can or catered on date wise you want to search okay so all options are here in data table okay so now uh, we want to work on active inactive status and for that uh, we need to make sure that class id and page id is there uh, so after that we can able to add in admin script let's open the admin script and we can copy any of the uh, okay uh, we can copy this one brand and we can paste and then we can make changes and this one is now our update cms page status okay every time this uh, this we are going to click this one on click function we are going to add now see brand id uh, brand id uh, brand is not there now we have the cms page page is there we are going to add the page here but here we are going to add the status like update cms page status okay fine okay you can make these changes now in web.php file we can create uh, the uh, route for this one post route for updating the status update cms page status cms controller at the rate of update here we can give update cms page status like this okay so this function we can create uh, here and we can copy from anywhere okay we are already having this function only difference is uh, need to change the name here okay we are going to change the model here it will come like cms page and the function name is update cms page status okay and here the it's not the branded it's the page id and that's it fine and uh, now we can check the status one if it will give some error then we are going to check okay so error comes okay so now we need to check once that why this error has come and where this error has come see forget to add the semicolon okay so sometimes i do this mistake so now we can check now we can able to disable unable as well okay so it's working fine we can now check its status is both zero let's make one of the status as one refresh in database c1 has come if we will make both status one refresh c1 so see it's the speed of the ajax okay without refreshing anything it's quickly updating the status of our cms page okay so we able to update this status as well we able to show the cms page in edit panel as well and now we are going to uh, show the cms page at left sidebar and for that we are going to update the admin sidebar and in admin sidebar we are going to add cms page we can add anywhere I'm going to copy this one. See, wherever you want uh, copy, you can just copy and make changes there. No need to do from scratch. Okay. So first thing you uh, always are required to do from scratch. Okay. And once you make that thing, then it's really easy. Okay. So CMS pages and here admin CMS pages. And this CMS pages we can add here like uh, uh, session, okay. This one in the same way, 
we can do okay so and here we can create cms pages and do add the session like we have added here use session and so we need to add here as well okay so now we are going to check once and here no one thing is left here mm, here open the admin sidebar replace it with cms pages now i think it's all done cms pages is selected here you can see cms pages and here are the cms pages for you and you can able to update the status as well okay so if you will select something else that particular thing will select get selected if you will select see cms pages the you you can see the it's highlighted at the left side bar okay so in next video we are going to uh, work on add cms page edit and delete functionality and after that we are going to show the cms pages at the front end as well okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye